Today, U.S. President Thomas Jefferson is often remembered as a champion of American independence and personal liberty. But what you may not know is that he fathered enslaved children with a young enslaved woman named Sally Hemings. Hemings was born in 1773 to her enslaved mother and slave-owning father. As an enslaved child, Sally was given away to her half-sister, Martha, and her new husband, Thomas Jefferson. They took her to live at their plantation, Monticello, where she worked in the house and learned domestic skills. When Thomas Jefferson became American ambassador to France, he took her with him to Paris. She was just 14 at the time. Despite her young age, Thomas soon began a sexual relationship with her. We don't know how Sally felt about this, but we do know that status as an enslaved woman made true consent impossible. When it was time for Thomas to return to the U.S., Sally could have petitioned the French government to stay in the country and live as a free woman. But instead, she chose to return to America on the condition that Thomas would free any children they may have together when they reached adulthood. At Monticello, Sally gave birth to at least six children, four of whom survived to enjoy the freedom she had negotiated for them. Though the children grew up enslaved, they were taught skills that would sustain them once freed. Although she was never officially emancipated, Sally was allowed to leave Monticello in 1822 to live the rest of her life with her emancipated children. Despite a backlash from those who wanted to preserve Thomas's image as a champion of individual liberty, her descendants shared the story of Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings and ensured that her agency and determination would always be remembered. How does Sally Hemings' story complicate Thomas Jefferson's legacy?